Hey y'all, hey, Mantic here, and today we're going to do a Plan With Me video. This week I thought I would maybe step away from the pre-made Etsy sets a little bit and do something a little different. So I'm just going to kind of wing it like I was from the beginning with just things I've picked up at Walmart, Target, Five Below, the Dollar Tree, and, you know, throwing a few Etsy stickers in here and there, but not relying solely on an Etsy set. So the only thing I really need to pick out is some washi. So I'm just looking at a few different washies. I think maybe this has too much going on um, for what I'm looking for. I'd like to keep it very simple, very plain. So I think I'll go with this striped one. And then on the other side... What could I put there? Hmm. I could do pink stripes on the side, but maybe that's too much strippy strippy. Uh, what about some pink glitter washi? I wonder how that would look. That might be fun. Yeah, I haven't used glitter washi in a while, so let's do that. So, let me go ahead and get to washing. So have you guys seen the previews for the two new Erin Condren planners that were on the Erin Condren Instagram. They put out a picture for the normal planner, like this one, with all the upgrades and changes. And then a day or two later, they put out a picture of a brand new horizontal spread. I probably won't be getting that one. But I am looking forward to seeing the unboxing videos of that one, to seeing how it's new and different. But I'm definitely going to be getting this, um, this is bothering me, it's not straight. I'm definitely going to get this three box design again, because I this just works for me, I feel like. I don't think I'd like the horizontal one as much, but uh, I think it's cool that she did a horizontal one. I know a lot of people have been wanting it. So in the new design, the titles on these boxes are gone. And these words that are just covered up are gone. And... Come on. Oh, Philly. These bubbles are gone. This calendar in the corner is gone. These words are gone. I think it's just like a little flag there. And I think there's an additional line since those words are gone. Yeah, so this part's gone. It's like a little flag shape. I don't know if it's like a flag sticker or, um, I don't know what it is. If it's like actually there and you can just fill it in with whatever you want. And then the words are different. Some people were saying it's too plain. I happen to like it. I think it's a pretty good design. I'm going to be happy with it. Um... I'm curious to see if the colors are all the same. I'm sure that information will trickle out in due time. I'm like having the hardest time getting the plastic off the back of this tape. There we go. Boom. Okay, so let's get this glitter tape down. Washing requires intense concentration, if y'all couldn't figure that out already. There we go! Okay. Now, that is not straight, but this washi, will, if I rip it up, will probably rip the page, so just gonna deal with it. Okay. And then, I wonder if 
this will be easier to rip than cut. Oh, yep, that was much easier. I should have done that up top. And then I'll just cut off this extra plastic. Okay, so I like that. I'm liking that quite a bit. Put my washi back in there. That big old bucket of washi. Put the lid on. So I was eyeballing this owl sticker. And I think I want to put it up here. I don't know. It might be kind of big. It's going to go over in there. Maybe I could do that owl sticker. That's going to that's gonna run over into the Monday, too. Hmm. Eh, I'm just going to do it anyway. And there's uh, glitter on this sticker. So that'll be super cute. Oh, that's not so bad. I like that. Okay. This set is from Five Below. And then this washi was from Marshalls. And this washi, you can find that brand of glitter washi all over the place. I think I might have got the pink roll at Walmart. I'm not entirely sure. They sell it at Joann's, too. So, now I have to put in some little markers for work. Because obviously I'm going to be going to work. Let me see if this is still straight. Yeah, good enough. So what can I use to mark off going to work? Um, you know what I could do? Maybe these little hearts? No, but I don't think I have enough of those little hearts. I could do these red dots, but I think they're maybe too intense. I don't know. What do you guys think? Red, these little pink dots? I don't hate it. Let's just go for it. I need to get out another sheet. Oh no. Here we go. Got another sheet. There we go. So that, I'll use those to mark off working this week. And then I have all these little things going on this week. So I need to make sure I mark those off. Uh, so let's see. I need a television to mark off Survivor. Let me go through my little TV stickers. Hmm. I wonder if I have a brighter pink one. I could use this one. These are from Lily Henry. Oh, and these little dots I just got in a big multi-pack at the dollar store. There we go. Survivor on here. I think it's the finale. I love a Survivor. Okay. And then this weekend we are going to the ocean. I found this pack of little label stickers at the Dollar Tree. So I wanted to put this here because we're leaving Friday night. And we'll be there through the holiday weekend. So we'll come home on Monday. And I thought I'd use these shiny stickers from Target, the Target One Spot, to just denote that we will be at the beach. Let's see.
Oh, these aren't cut very well. That's annoying. What are you guys doing this upcoming weekend? Since it's a holiday weekend, doing anything special? I say we're going to the beach, but in all actuality, we are dropping Austin's grandmother down the beach because she stays there all summer at her beach house. So we're really taking her down there and then just enjoying the weekend because we happen to already be there. So that is marked off that will be down there. And like I said, these are from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so I can remove that. Then I have a meeting on that day. Let me see if there's something fun I can use to mark that. Hmm. I'm thinking I might want to use one of these circles. These are from a set, I think it's by Kraft. No, not Kraft. What's... I don't know. What's that glue brand? Elmer's? I think they're by Elmer's. They came in a set with all kinds of different repositionable shapes and stuff. So I think I'm going to grab one of these. Plunk it down right there, and then write what I need to write. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take my Sharpie and just write in work. Okay. So this week might end up looking like a mishmash of, I don't know, messiness, but I just felt like doing something different. And then I also have a meeting on that day, so I'm going to take that same set and another one of these pink circles, plunk that down. I guess this week I really just wanted to do a spread that could show that you don't need all the fancy Etsy stickers in order to plan and have a, a nice spread, like a pretty spread. So, packing for the ocean. I actually just got stickers from two little bees that would be perfect for this. So let me find them. Haha. -ha. I have these cute little suitcases. Since I've done a lot of pink stickers so far, I think I'll go with the light blue mint sticker. Right there. Okay, 
And I'm going to go ahead and write in there. This I'm just going to leave there for now because I need to confirm a time on that. I have these little sunglasses stickers that are a thousand and one billion gajillion years old. I think I'm going to stick them right here since we are heading to the beach. Let's see, what else could I do? There's a happy hour for someone who is leaving work on Monday, so I should put in a little thingy to denote that. I can use um, this third, oh crap, little pink circle since this is also sort of work related. And then all those little pink circles will be work related things. So I guess that's how the week's going to look. I can go in and embellish a little bit now if I'd like. But I don't really know all too much what I'm going to be doing beyond, you know, working and my meetings and heading to the beach. I have this little stamp that one of my girlfriends gave me that I want to use for something. So I just feel like it would look cute on this spread somewhere, but I'm just not sure what exactly to do with it. And I need to figure out how I'm going to denote going to the gym as well. So, let's figure that out. This is kind of just a work in progress sort of thing. Would that look nice on this page? Nah. Nah. I don't want to put that on there. I guess I could put this little owl on here from that same set from five below. He kind of matches these colors. Cute. What a little cutie. Oh, duh. I need to put in my challenge stickers. And I guess I can use these little pink weights to denote when we're going to the gym. get these challenge stickers in first. So I'm glad I had that owl down first because I wouldn't have wanted to put him over top of my challenge stickers. That probably would have annoyed me a little bit. It is really hot in this apartment right now. I had the door open and the window open so that I could get some air flowing through here, but it's just too loud when the door is open to be filming. So I had to close that so I could finish this video. Okay, this one's going on here too. And after this week, there's only three more days to go. Yay! The squats suck, but like I can do them. It's the planks where it's like it's beyond sucking. I just physically cannot do them. So I've been trying to really 
like think of something else when I'm doing them so I don't think of my muscles as much. So I've been like humming a song to myself or just really concentrating on the television or just anything to keep my mind off of doing these blanks. I'm going to have to order another set of blank stickers just because I feel like I could benefit from doing the challenge all over again. That sounds insane. I'm probably sounding hella cray. So, we're practically only going to have four days we can go to the gym. So we should probably go all four of those days. So, let me put these little barbells on all of those days. Okay. My gosh, it is so hot in here right now. So I probably won't be putting any to-do lists in here since we will be at the ocean. Although, honestly, there's probably a few things we'll have to do with Grandma just to get her set for being there for a while. But, um... I'll deal with that when the day comes, and this I need to confirm, so I'm probably just going to find some sort of really cute porch outs to put here, or if my days fill up, I'll fill them up, but yeah, this was going to, this is a really basic playing with me video this week, because I wanted to just show you, you don't need all the fancy little Etsy stickers and everything to have a cute layout, I mean... I think this is adorable. I've got the cute owls, the glitter tape, and it's bare, but bare isn't always a bad thing. I think it's refreshing to give yourself space and openness and just plain white space. Like I think that's nice. So hopefully you guys like that too. I don't know, I guess we'll find out with the reactions to this video. Hey y'all, so I wanted to come back on camera real quick because I stepped away for a little while, did a few things, and then came back and added a few extra things on here. So, I'm going to point out the things I think I forgot to, to show another one. So, I added my baseballs, like I always do, and then I added, those are from Lily Henry, I added these little flower corner um, stickers. To frame the weekend, those are Sticko stickers, so you can get them anywhere Sticko is sold, like Walmart or Five Below or, you know, anywhere Sticko brand is sold. And then I added this little box. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in that little box, but I just thought it would go cute there. And that is um, the same brand as these little dots, that Elmer's brand. And then I also added this little amazing and this possibility with your Studio 112 from John and Fabrics. I added this little page fly for that meeting I wasn't sure about. I also just put this little thing in here because really our midday we're just going to be driving. So I thought maybe I could just write road trip or something cute on there. This is from a set I got from Five Below. I just wanted to put some more words there because I thought it would be cute just to fill it up. I also added in this whole square page flag from Lily Henry. That was from the Easter set. And that may have been everything I added. I added these little owls too. They're from the Dollar Tree. But I just spruced it up a little more. And I just wanted to show you guys. So now is the official end of the video. So I'll talk to y'all later. Comments, questions down below. Thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you'd like to. And stick around for a while if you'd like because I'd enjoy having you here. And uh, yeah, that's everything. Bye.